Early summer in Scotland and Britain's highest mountain, Ben Nevis, looks peaceful enough. But all that's about to change. In the shadow of Ben, the World Cup mountain bike tour has come to Britain for the first time and the hills are coming alive. The world's best riders have arrived in Fort William in the Western Highlands and brought a party atmosphere with them. On today's show, we'll be bringing you all the action from the downhill and the first ever World Cup Four Cross event from one of the most important cycling events Britain has ever hosted. It's on the sport's best head-to-head -head racer, Brian Lopes, as Four Cross makes its debut on the World Cup. It's the same high adrenaline race format adapted from World Cup snowboarding, and Lopes is acknowledged as the master. Pete, seen here in the black and red trailing Lopes in the quarterfinal knockout round, is a physically strong rider, more at home on the severe inclines of the downhill course. Four Cross is a more explosive event, just over 20 seconds of sheer speed, and in Fort William, the key to the course would be getting to the first turn first. So they hold the positions. And the gate goes, Lines and Chauson. Chauson gets the best line out of the gate, round the first berm and into the lead. And it is Chauson against Yanis. Chauson round through, and Yanis goes down. And Chauson taking advantage to ride away. She is pulling away from the two chasers. Johnny A moving into second place, but Chauson, the world champion, is going to take the win with ease. Into the finish straight, she coasts across the line. Sabrina Johnny A, but all eyes are back up the hill. As Tarianis hears a crash again, got right over the front of the bike. And look at that, Celine Gross just managing to avoid riding over her. The gate shots away, it boots right out of the gate and into Gracia's lane, but it is Lopes that gets the lead, pushing Gracia up high and into the first turn there all together. And Lopes goes down, the world champion crashes out, and it is Cedric Gracia who takes advantage. He is on course now to take a double for France and the Volvo Cannondale team. And coming into the finish, it is Cedric Gracia who takes the inaugural 4X in the men's. Wade Boots coming in for third, but there is some controversy maybe Gracia just nudges him out and that could be a disqualification we see them coming in and there is absolutely just the tiniest piece of contact that is not going to be a problem for Cedric Gracia more of a problem would have been for Wade Boots coming out of the start gate he drifted right off his line but the judges not seeing that out on the course but what they did see Although Steve Peake crossing the line here in third place. The silver medalist from last year. The big surprise of the World Cup taking fourth place. Fionn Griffiths. Oh, she's down and she is off the course. She punches the ground in frustration. But she has to get that bike back up onto the course. Exactly where she left it. Really looking smooth. But Gio, the fastest, as we said earlier, has gone down. She crashes on what is pretty much a, a, an innocuous part of the course. She's back up and down to the finish. And Tracy Mosley is on course to set the fastest time. Jumps into the arena and it's just the straight to go. She can see the time ticking away. Tracy Mosley powers in and it's the fine too much out. Missy Jove has gone down again. A big crash from the former world champion. She th takes off the goggles, puts them to one side. Very smooth indeed. Big jump into the arena. And Sabrina jean Sasson. she won the four cross yesterday, but uh, is not looking too happy on this downhill course. In is on course. He exchanges congratulations with Fionn Griffiths and Gio despondent. Another look at Missy Gio's big crash just a couple of hundred metres from the start. The most famous woman rider in mountain bike history, not able to get back into contention. All the way, but Kavarik looking like a stronger rider, nearly loses it there, but a little dab of his foot gets him back on course. Now, this is the defending champion. Greg Minard and oh he's lost it he's gone into the crowd a huge crash from Greg Minard the defending champion he didn't qualify well yesterday and started quite early and now it is just going from bad to worse Greg Minard even has to get off to push into the last drop of the arena and his dreams of defending that title of surely taking a huge dent he comes in to record a time but it is not going to challenge the leaders Greg Minard looks distraught as he lays down the bike and he's obviously in some pain as well a very heavy crash we see it again he just gets out of line 
and does incredibly well to avoid plowing into the crowd. The bike goes all over the place. Poor old Greg Menard is looking pretty dazed. Nathan Rennie of Australia though, very smooth down that section and huge jumps. Rennie comes in, this will be the best time so far. And he peaked the national champion from a couple of years ago, the number one in Britain, silver medalist in the world and the big hope for British riders. Can he do the double? Can he emulate Tracy Mosley? Gracia now dropping in and looking incredibly fast as he comes in. He rails the burns and a big jump into the finish. Another big jump and Gracia sprints to the line and incredibly, it is exactly the same time as Nathan Rennie. He looks a bit despondent, but event they are going to share that hot seat for a while. But can Steve Pete dislodge them? No, he's gone down a big crash from Steve Pete. Straight back up to get on the bike and uh, pushes away, but he looks down and looking there, it looks like Steve Pete has lost his saddle. And that is going to be incredibly tough now with something like uh, two thirds of the course to go. He is not going to be able to sit down at any part of this course. And he looking a little bit more comfortable on the hot seat but with a huge jump into the arena the arrival of Chris Kavarik and he smashes their time and says thank you very much that's my hot seat out of the way comes in for a man who hasn't liked the course it's still going to be a good time it won't challenge the top three times but it should be good enough there for fourth he doesn't know that Pete's had Pete's bike after that big spill just before the halfway mark Pete front wheel just got sucked into a soft spot I went over the bars my bike tumbled I got up pretty quick but I bent on my brake lever and knocked my saddle off so I couldn't carry on as quick as I wanted to I mean how far how much of the course did you have to ride without the saddle for example three quarters probably